Hi everyone, this is Clemmy Games and welcome to the Indie Game Backlog. This week, we will take a look at Risk of Rain, an action platformer with roguelike elements developed by Hopu Games and released on Steam in November 2013. Being a fan of roguelikes, I have constantly heard great things about Risk of Rain but never got round to it myself until now and I have to say, Based on my first impressions, this looks like a winner through and through. The objective as far as I can tell is to get to the next level and to try to proceed as far as you can without dying. This controls like a typical platformer with the addition of skills or attacks which are activated with the Z, X, C and V keys. As you go along, new characters will be unlocked but for the purpose of this video, I did not unlock any new character and simply stuck with the default commando. The commando is interesting since it focuses on long ranged attacks with the Z key being a default fire button, X was bound to a piercing shot which caused a little knockback, C was a dodge roll and V was the suppressing fire ability which had a much higher damage per second than the default attack. All of these abilities with the exception of the default fire button are on cooldowns whenever they were used but these were not too restrictive but just enough to warrant tactical use of said skills. As you traverse the environment looking for the portal to the next level, enemies will randomly spawn in which range from flying jellyfish to lizard man to rock golems and I appreciate the variance in enemy design and behaviour. Killing enemies nets you experience and gold. The former allows you to level up, increasing your base damage and health, while the latter can be used in a number of interesting ways. Gold in the game can be used to purchase items directly, open loot boxes, or to make a donation at shrines in hopes of getting an item. Items that I have encountered thus far have all had positive effects ranging from items that heal you when you are out of combat to an item which causes you to sporadically launch missiles at enemies to a mask which summons the ghost of every slain enemy to fight for you for a little while. There is a very nice sense of progression as you hoard items and seemingly become unstoppable until you run into that one enemy mob that ends up killing you. When you do reach the portal somewhere in the level, Activating it results in a 90 second cooldown timer beginning. At the same time, the boss monster spawns in together with a seemingly endless wave of enemies and having to survive for 90 seconds is what makes the game really fun. This is akin to the crescendo events in Left 4 Dead as survivors desperately try to hold out until the exit is open and Risk of Rain incorporates this element perfectly. Furthermore, the game has a pretty good timer mechanic which is constantly shown in the top right hand corner. Essentially, the longer you take in a run, the more difficult the monsters become. This has to be balanced with killing enemies and getting gold and items to ensure that you are strong enough to take on the crescendo event which is a nice risk reward type mechanic. When you do eventually die in the game, there are some minor progression elements which unlock such as the new item which will have a chance to spawn in every run henceforth or even unlocking a new character as I have mentioned previously. There are even artifacts which change how the game functions which means plenty of replayability. I have seen statistics of players playing this game for hundreds of hours which is definitely good value for money. Overall, really positive first impressions of this game. I like how all of the items have beneficial effects which means that you do not need to constantly have to refer to a wiki for information on items although you still would do that if you are trying to min-max the game. The action feels good and there is sufficient variety to keep things interesting. Personally, I will definitely try to have a couple of runs in this game here and there so do check it out for yourself if you are interested. Anyway, that will do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Leave a comment if you like. Thanks again and I will see you in the next video.